Let's start off with Illinois, my home state in the building. All right, home state is getting off right now, okay? This breaking news. All my Chicago niggas, especially if you uh uh partake par, uh partake in the 420. Okay, Illinois Supreme Court rules smell of burnt marijuana not calls for warrantless vehicle search okay so now the police can no longer search a vehicle just because they smell marijuana in illinois and you know this shit right here see this right here <laughs> this is the type of shit that be putting the liberals ahead of the republicans when it comes to policy now even though this is a judicial decision this is going to stop uh, this is going to a lot less niggas going to be getting locked up because of this all right springfield illinois okay real quick law enforcement officers in illinois cannot rely on the smell of burnt cannabis alone to justify searching a vehicle without a warrant the supreme court ruled on thursday the illinois supreme court the decision was unanimous through Justice Lisa Holder White, though Justice Lisa Holder White did not take part in it. Writing for the court, Justice P. Scott Neville pointed to Illinois' landmark 2019 law legalizing recreational cannabis. Okay, because Illinois did legalize it in 2019. And so the judge says the laws on cannabis have changed in such a drastic way as to render the smell of burnt cannabis standing alone insufficient to provide probable cause for a police officer to search a vehicle. See, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay? That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Because these police would definitely use that excuse. Even though weed is legal. That's an excuse to go through your shit. Well, if you don't let me search your car, I'm, I'm going to call the dogs. You want me to call the dogs, sir? there's a marijuana smell or you want me to call the dogs and have your ass sitting there like i and i know some of you guys are the perfect goody two shoes and you guys never get pulled over and you're just wondering ramil why don't you do the right thing and just be an upstanding citizen and you won't have to deal with this sir you pookie you fucking ray ray well i look here's the deal i can't help it the police like to pull me over i don't know why I'm I can I can count on getting pulled over at least three times a year. That's just how it is. Okay, I don't know why what you niggas do. Maybe you niggas, maybe it's the clothes y'all wear. I don't know. Okay, and police have definitely used the weed smell as a reason to search my car. Okay, all right. Case stems from September 2020 when Ryan Redman was put over by an Illinois state trooper on I-80. All right, so if you know about I-80, you know the police be all up and down I-80. Shout out to the Chicago niggas. Especially when you go towards Joliet. All right, it says, during the interaction, the trooper allegedly smelled burnt cannabis in Redman's vehicle. Upon searching the vehicle, he found a gram of weed. <laughs> a gram of weed. Come on, man. Redman was charged with misdemeanor for failure to transport cannabis in an odor proof container oh my god this these bullshit ass <laughs> laws oh you didn't have it in the odor proof container man if you don't get the fuck out of here if you don't get the fuck out of here man come on man all right okay uh who is this hold on is this new? Is this new in the building? Okay, see, see y'all niggas. Shaka Nulu. I appreciate the cash app. I really do. And shout out to all y'all in the building because we just getting started. However, as much as I appreciate the cash app, this is I'm trying to make this a no longer donation platform. Y'all niggas already paid to get in. I you know I ain't trying to kill the pockets. I do appreciate it though. Shout out to New on the Cash App for the 10. You know. But, you know, it's all good. You can show love. Who, who am I to turn down the love? I do appreciate you guys. Like, but anyway, uh, so let's get back to this. It says uh, Raymond was charged with the misdemeanor, to blah, blah, blah. And then the court found that 
the detection of burnt cannabis in the vehicle established reasonable suspicion to investigate. Okay, so basically the court in Illinois, so keep this in mind if you're in Chicago too, because them Chicago police will use this as bullshit. You, burnt cannabis is now no longer probable cause, and the case is going to be, just to make sure, it's going to be uh, Redmond. So it's going to be State of Illinois versus versus Redmond. Let me let me double check though, so you can have the case. All right. So we can no longer use burnt people versus Redmond twenty twenty four. Okay, so that's the case. People versus Redmond twenty twenty four. If you are in, um, if you're in Chicago, which a lot of you are, now you know the police can no longer pull you over for burnt smell of um of alcohol okay i mean of, of lick um of of weed all right let's keep it pushing man we got some more stuff we got to get to speaking of chicago all right we got 